Hello and welcome to the show. So, we have been set the challenge of everyone going to build banger racing cars. These have to be sort of appropriate banger cars, so we're not going to have any Ferraris or anything rare and expensive here. And to meet up at Camino Viju Mini. And this is what I have. It is a Renault 5. Not the best condition one, but it's mid-engined, which gives it the advantage of it's very difficult to damage the engine, meaning it should survive fairly well. And you've bought a truck. <laughs> I have bought a Ford County Squire. Now this, as Alex said, is... Well, it's Titanic, really. I don't know what the bling-bling wheels f were for, and yeah, I've just stuck loads of very menacing stickers on it, such as cops <laughs> like this and insured by <laughs> Mafia. So, the rest of the do. field, we had a couple of Subaru Legacies. There was a Christmassy Golf and a Mitsubishi Eclipse. Now, I am correct in thinking my car is the only mid-engine. Everything else is front engines. Yeah, so you're going to... They're either front engine, they're either front engine, front wheel drive, or just... Well, yeah, so you're probably going to get the best start at the, at the right way going. Yeah, so we're all set on the start line. We're all here, waiting, getting ready to go. And straight away, someone's on the grass. Didn't take them long. And, yep, yeah, my car got a, is a really good fast launch. I'm up to second from the back of the grid already. You were really slow off that line. As I, Eclipse to be gone. fair, I was a bit sort of, um, yeah, I see Eclipse. I was, um, how can I put it? Very tentative off the line. I didn't really want to just blitz it at all. You uh, all haven't, oh dear, you swung him already. Yeah, I, I got very ambitious into the uh, second corner. And, and I just, and I just pummeled the Subaru. There was, there was a bit of collision there between you and the Subaru. Me and the Subaru carry on battling all the way down here. So, after a couple of laps, you and the Golf had a good, had a bit of a ding-dong here. Uh, the Golf wasn't that big. And the, and yeah. <laughs> the Golf's never just be going to lose that battle against yeah. the size of that <laughs> yeah, counter Golf, squire. I think this is... I don't think I've ever seen a car in banger racing as big as this. Uh, they are, it's pretty as big as you can get. So, the lead Subaru at the time kind of had a spin on his own accord. Not really sure what happened there. So, you've got to inherit the lead. And as we go through there, the Subaru comes back on and I end up going straight into the back of him. Now, I can't damage my engine doing that, or at least it's very tricky to. However, I didn't take into account I could damage my steering. So, my car was steering horrendously to the right, I think. Which means I was going to have to go into the pits, as you can see there. There's a rather fast entrance, and the camera gets lost. But that pretty much screwed up my whole race. But as I came out of the pits, a few laps later, the second place Golf that was... I don't know, it's quite a way behind you, actually, sort of came into contact with me and spun himself out, so, sort of and loss. then that dropped him down to third. Yeah, at this point I pulled quite a big lead, and you can see me there. See the yeah. little cops like this, and yeah. GoPro the race down. Had, the race had pretty much settled down after that. Not a lot. Ha we did a fairly short race to begin with, to see how it go. Which, you ended up taking the lead, and you lapped most of the field, I think. I think I, I think I lapped all of the field. This is a surprise. This was a surprisingly good car. It was a surprise, I thought that a surprise I'd a win shed, but. For, the, uh, for the county squire. So we lined up for the second race. We thought we'd use the reverse circuit. Do something a little bit different here. And again, the Renault has a brilliant start. And I decided the first thing I was going to do was try and nerf your County Squire, which kind of worked. I got battered about by everybody you did. in that start. Yeah, you, you sort you of took uh, the County Squire off, but it, it did slowed, no damage. It slowed you down. It did slow me down. No damage, luckily. Yeah, you, you got quite lucky with damage on that one. But I still I managed to get up to third and was chasing after the the two Subarus. Now the Renault 5 was actually a surprisingly good car for this for this race and it's pretty quick in a straight line. Unfortunately I then got spun into the first corner and yeah, that dropped me down again. to the back again so I have to do all the work. This you then were battling with a Subaru yeah, I had a bit of a moment a big there. Spin. And I, I did have scared a the crap out of everybody coming across that track. I think no I, did. I, I <laughs> that wasn't tactics don't worry I just yeah I did have a bit that, of a moment. That did that was actually scary. damage my engine. Oh, you which took I was some surprised damage. At. I wondered what happened. I did to take you. some damage. Yeah, so was about, I think I got 22%. Yeah, that, that would explain it. So I, eventually, after, I don't know, five, six laps, I caught up to the two Subarus that were now battling for the lead, which made it a three way battle. The Golf wasn't even that far behind. Showing that despite the fact we all went in different directions with building our cars, these are all very different cars. They all, I don't know where I'm going there, just ignore that. Terrible line, yeah. <laughs> but we all managed to build some relatively similar cars, actually. My car takes the most damage, though, like visual damage. There's ridiculous amounts of front end damage. It's on my French. Car. They're, they're so I <laughs> design. Yeah, that's true. So 
we kind of caught up to you who was a lap down but in a fast car so it ended up sort of being a five-way battle but only four places that really counted and then chaos just happened everywhere the golf and the subaru were knocking doors and eventually the subaru kind of lost out and it fell down to the back while me and the rally light subaru were up in the front and here we are again we're, st we're still battling away at the front and we kind of slowed each other down not helped by me there sort of spinning them out but because we're battling, we're helps. slowing each other down the golf and the grey subaru are allowed to sort of catch up to us and he takes a lunge at me into the second corner and sort of uh, and I, everybody's I on the grass sort of unlap you yeah you can you can unlap us and then you call some more problems. I had a bit I had a bit of revenge and you can see I slowed down there just <laughs> to take a tad bit of revenge and you got battered by the Subaru yeah, as well. So we're, well I'm still battling rally lights and then I'm at the back so I went from first to last in a corner and then quickly regained my position. So the good thing about banger racing is anything can happen it's, there's no okay there's a bit of skill required but if you've never yeah. done it it's just such it's it's a good stress relief racing yeah, I, I mean, think. The thing is there was four of us in all different cars. I don't know where on earth me and that Subaru are going. I think we're going to the pits. But um, despite the fact we all had so different cars, we all got different levels of experience, different cars we like, all the cars were different drivetrains. Yet we hadn't got a clue who was going to win this race. And there you just tag one of the leaders. Are you trying to hit the goal? More damage. Oh, Eventually we kind of, in the, in the end, sort of double team him. Not on purpose particularly. But yeah, the Subarus end up falling back down the order to third and fourth. Me and you are having another battle over that hill. And I'm off on the grass going sideways and everything. You are off on the grass again, so unfortunately you lost that. Yeah, again. in the end that cost me a lot of time. And the Golf was going to win the second race of the day. And you were going to finish with us, but a lap down and sideways. Not sure what happened to the Eclipse. I think it might have quit out. Oh yeah, you get some unsportsmanlike behaviour there at the end <laughs> taking out the uh, victor so on to race three and some random people had actually joined our lobby and they'd all joined with cars that were kind of illegible so we thought oh well what the hell let's uh, carry on racing anyway they had sort of watched so we hoped they knew what we were doing but I'm not entirely sure you're getting I'm bullied sure by the Subaru I, I got away. bullied by I think I got bullied by everybody I think on the yeah. first goal, they'd obviously I think seen you were my the target because of the size of your car, and then you were off on the grass again. You didn't have a particularly good start to the second race either. There's just I so with know. seven of us, there's so much sort of chaos going on. I actually got a really good start, I'm fairly clean, and I was into the lead. The golf was proving quite fast actually. The first couple of races he hadn't been that quick, but somehow in this in this third one. Really got on it together. The reverse circuit, he, causing problems. On the reverse circuit, it was a lot quicker. There's the Cortina yeah. going. Is that a Cortina? That is that is a old yeah, Cortina, Cortina, which is also incredibly fast. Um, again, there's ridiculous. some more battling going on. I don't quite know what's happening and who's where. To be honest, we, you kind of don't when you're racing. It's <laughs> there's four of us battling over second at this point. Cortina actually made a fairly early break. Actually, no, make that five of us. I think within. A second five of each us, other. Yeah. Five of us within about a second. I don't know, where have you gone? You were. I, I think. <laughs> I can't actually. Do you know what? I can't actually remember. I think one of the races I knew I got, I got punted off at some point. I think it was by the golf again, uh, and that got me engine damage. But so much so that I actually had to pit. Um, and that would probably prepared. explain. Yeah. So yeah, the it didn't there's it. three Subarus now. Um, they obviously, if they're a popular choice. Then that's the third one there, sort of vanishing out of shot. Everyone was having trouble with that corner at the bottom of the hill. I think you were just carrying too much speed. Up at the front, and a bit later on, I had eventually caught the Cortina. My Renault was proving to be pretty decent. And as we were battling, we were slowing each other down again, allowing the Golf to catch up. The Subarus had dropped back. They were struggling to sort of keep up with the uh, with the smaller cars. And the Cortina had the slight problem of, I think it was too light in a way. It was a lot of sideways lariness, so it was costing it a lot of time. And it I did eventually get past it. Attraction. You did get yeah, past it at one point. I, I eventually got past it, and then the Golf followed me through. The Golf was actually, in lap time by the Golf, was the quickest car out there. It's is, is marginal, but the Golf was the quicker car. Cortina's taken a bit of a lunge here, but it stays in third. The Golf eventually tried to take a move on me, and that all went wrong. He kind of outbreaks himself a bit and put himself into the wall, and that gave the Cortina the lead. All the time we were fairly close to lapping you, so I was constantly scared that we were going to have a problem with the uh, county squire. 
You then eventually caught call up to, to the uh, Subaru that was at the back of the grid, and then you had a nice little battle going on here. The tank versus the little saloon car. He was holding his own against you, though, I have to say. I'm impressed. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, it, I tell you now, I never... When I built the car, I just thought I'd build it just as a fun thing, just to see how it worked, and just for a laugh. But it turned out it was actually a pretty decent car to drive. I was surprised. So there were battles all throughout the field. This is the battle for third. The white Subaru is a lap down, but he caused somewhat problems for his teammate, I guess you'd say, which eventually dropped him down to fourth, and the goal was to have a relatively easy third place. Towards the end of the race, the field sort of spread out, except for the battle at the front, which was me and the Cortina. This is the final lap of the race. We'd been battling like this for a good couple of laps now. And I couldn't see yeah, it, but... I, I mean, I couldn't see it because I was in the race, but I mean, look on the mini map, they were, you know, for a good seven or eight laps, it was, you know, they were just, they were really close to each other. I mean, this was, this you were two in and fro in um, yeah. five or six times, you know, over the course of the race. Yeah. Than that, and I eventually, I, I won it on the last corner, which is impressive. My tiny lightweight Renault survived a banger race, and I actually won something. I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, that was, so, I'll yeah. tell you now, I don't think... I, I, to be fair, I'd never think that a county squire would do well in that, and also I'd never think that a Renault would win. <laughs> sort of the two, yeah, the two that is, worst. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, yeah, we had a huge amount of fun though doing some banger racing. So did, yes. if you'd like to join us in some of this racing, we are holding another event. It is on Saturday the 15th. It's going to be run at 9 p.m. GMT time. I'm not really sure what that is for other countries, so you'll have to figure that out for yourself. Um. We are going to use the Toyota Celica Supra car. It's um, almost well, the tune for it is on my storefront. We're all going to try running the same car, so it's even closer. Should be a uh, mayhem. We've already got sort of ten people signed up for it, so it should be good fun. If you want to come along, then you can find our uh, game tags in previous videos or whatever. Send me a message. Send tags. Me friends we'll put it in whatever. the we'll put it in the description. Not no not yeah. description. Yeah, we'll put it in the description. Um, and yeah, also want to say that we're. Me and actually thinking of doing a Christmas special on Forza Horizon, which should be quite good, actually. Yeah, that so should be good fun. Just put that uh, That's about it for this video, so thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.